Hi guys, what is going on? And welcome back to another video on Conqueror's Blade. So, I have been really, really enjoying the tactical battles mode. We've probably already had a video on it by this point. But one of the real upsides is I'm absolutely falling back in love with these paladins. They're just such a fantastic unit. I've just been enjoying them so, so much. Um, and so I thought we'd have a little bit of a fight with the paladins. Grab them out, little video focus on them. Because I've done a few videos on them recently saying that they're really out of meta and I've not really been enjoying them. Which I think is still largely true. Which is why we're not doing the whole doctrine, um, you know, veterancy line thing. Because these are just the pick from the tactical battles. But in this, I'm really enjoying them. I think it's just because we're facing a different selection of units. It's not all Iron Reapers and Keshigs, it's just a real mix of stuff. And so the generalisation of the Paladins is really starting to shine again. That was a little bit harsh, whoever closed that gate basically on half of our team who just charged out the gate. <laughs> They're probably now all stuck to die, but there we go. Um, so as of yet, not really made use of them. We've just been skirting around a little bit on the walls. I haven't gone down to the A point because I don't really like fighting on A. But the enemy, as of yet, haven't got any towers in. They're still starting to push from different angles, but haven't been able to get these towers in. I thought initially they might start pushing the um, ram up to the main gate, which is kind of why I was loitering around here a little bit. But it didn't look like they were actually really making much of an effort. Although some of their heroes are actually starting to slowly chip that gateway down, so they are starting to make an impact. But anyway, the tower lands at B, and I think, aha, well we'll go over there and get stuck into some fighting there. But as is always the case on it, this is an Evo video after all, things aren't going to go quite according to plan, at least from a hero point of view. So the enemy have got a boatload of range on that siege tower. Very tempting selection of targets. And actually some claymores couldn't resist the temptation. I should perhaps have gone at this point. I try and get a little bit involved. I'm conscious of one, the amount of enemy ranged, and those three mauls at the front, they can completely stop my paladin charge quite easily. Plus there's quite a bit of melee in there. We've got these um, land sharks, these land schnicks blocking up the front and it's going to stop me from getting in. I just try and ping the archer up on the wall because he doesn't realise that he's got enemies climbing up next to him and so he's about to get flanked. But ultimately I decide I think it's going to be time to make a move. As I do though those palace guards come down which makes me back off. I'm still thinking oh I don't know what I want to do but as these shields come I decide to go for it. Line up, go for the charge. The shields go flying and I get obliterated by the, the senjis at the back. The gunners just basically one shot me. I think, ah, Christ, now my unit's going to get slaughtered. They take a few losses initially, but actually, they push on really well. The enemy can only attack from the front. Paladins have active block. And as you can see, they're quite happily marching up the tower, not really taking any losses, and picking up quite a few kills for me. Oh, even a nice little hero kill as well. Once the team pushes in as well, I decide to take that opportunity to retreat, because the unit has survived. The unit is still ready and in the game to go. Um, just basically wait for them to finish retreating, which takes a few seconds, and then we can respawn with them and go again. And we've actually only lost a few of the unit. So where do we want to go now? Well, the main focus of the push is still really on the B point. As we come round, though, we see these Azaps going up to the wall on the back. And actually, as, a, as an equivalent to a unit, we really want to be taking stuff like this out. You know, it's a good leadership cost unit. So I'm pulling my unit up, trying to engage them at the back, because the enemy hero has already pushed on and kind of left his unit here. So we can clear up a few with our hero. And actually, they're already engaging a unit of stalwarts. A couple of enemy heroes up ahead, though. So I decide to go in with the charge. Try and get the little bit of an interrupt on that Azap charge. And the unit just deals with them, really no problem at all. We can go through, enemy hero goes down, and we're following up to the other guy who's retreating to his palace guards. Now you're going to see me hesitate here because my charge is on cooldown. I really didn't want that. And as I pull back, they charge and kind of pull back, which was a mistake. I should have just faced them head on. We take a few losses, but not too bad. I can then follow up, get stuck in. I'm using X and V, always X and V, until my charge comes off cooldown. And the enemy hero literally walks into that one. <laughs> and he gets absolutely flattened. And then they really, the palace guards now aren't a match. I can just X and V my unit and it really finishes them off. And by X and V, whenever you press X, it causes the unit to move to a set destination. And then when you press V, it basically forces them to all auto attack at once. 
So I'm pushing them up in a tight group and then auto attacking. And that's where you get this real burst damage come from. And that's why I like X and V so much on these paladins. Using it here, the enemy more, we get him on the floor, don't bother using the rest of my hero. Stand around, move the unit over, press V, and he's dead because he gets that burst damage. But as we come down the stairs, there's a nice unit of Celadars here. Oh, okay. We'll pin down that short sword so we can get run over by the unit. And look at that. Those Celadars, basically the whole unit got insta-killed there. I was going to push on into the enemy range, but there's actually a fair bit of stuff coming, so I just had to pull back to safety behind the wall and kind of regroup a little bit. Since the unit's actually still in good health. The enemy's having none of it, though. They're pushing in. We've got Paladins coming in. We've got Imperial Shields coming in. I'm trying to get the unit stuck in. We've got Halberdier Sergeants coming in. I try and pull back a little bit to our friendly line because my charge has just come off cooldown. And there's a lot of stuff here now. We have got friendly Janissaries behind, so I decide to go for it. Just get stuck in. Try and pin down the enemy hero. He takes a good chunk of damage in the charge, and then he goes down. We don't get the kill, unfortunately, but we did the bulk there. And look, we're up to 90 kills now already. Pushing the unit in, using the XMV to try and control the situation. Just trying to get that damage out. And we're getting so much damage. Over 100 kills now with this unit. And this is the first unit we pulled out, so we had no kills at the start of this battle. And yeah, they just absolutely dominate in this fight. They've got so much stuff. We've now got um, Prefecture Guards charging into them. We've got Hazars. We've got the Halberdier Sergeants. And these guys are just chewing through it all. We are slowly starting to lose health, but come on. We gave it a really good shot. Final charge into the last group. And actually, the charge even from Static is quite effective. And we're kind of able to deal with them. Tried to get the Bill Hook on the wall, but it gets grabbed by another player. So I console myself with a little short sword. We lock on the floor, push the unit over him, or what's left of the unit, and are just able to get the kill. Last couple of Berserkers, but actually we can deal with them now. They're unhero controlled fairly easily, and actually they're not too much of a problem. So 130 kills. These Paladins in this mode are really dominant. You've got to X and V them, you've got to get their charges off. But when you can, and when you can keep them from getting attacked in the rear, then they honestly really, really work very, very well. We will get this Cesar in the end. There he goes. So, yeah. And even with just a few of the unit, look, we can be a pain against some poor bloke who's just trying to move his jab sergeants up the wall. Doesn't even know I'm here. Poor chap. But there we go. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Certainly would recommend checking out the Paladins in the Tactical Battle because they are a fantastic unit. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, guys. And I shall see you all on the next one. Position. Good.